All right, now we're going to move from the cross face, a third position of control, into the best position, the mount position, okay, where we can finish that fight with some good strikes. So we have the side control. And many people in MMA, they kind of tend to hold side control a lot and rarely go to the mount because maybe they don't have they haven't developed their skills enough where they feel confident to go for the mount. Because when you mount, if you don't have the proper technique, the guy can reverse you or escape and get back to his guard. So a lot of people tend to hold here and get some points, try to hit, you know, sometimes with limited effectiveness. So I want to make sure I can end this fight. So from here, I want you guys to go around the head, under the armpit, controlling the cross face, okay? Now you notice his elbow is in, so I need to kill that arm, I need to get it out. So from here, I want, to bring your, I want you to bring your knee down towards the hip, open his elbow, and then I want you to pull it so that he can't, he has a hard time pulling that elbow back underneath my body. Now I lock my palms together, five finger grip, okay? My, uh, the hand that's behind the head, I like to put on top, and control here, turn his jaw. So now, in terms of mounting, his elbows and knees working together make it hard for me to mount. See how there's no space there? It could be that way or it could be like that side before like that, okay? There's no space, I can't get through. So what I need to do is get both arms out of the way. So I've already gotten this one out of the way with my body. Now, this is the next place we're gonna attack before we try them out. So from here, I'm gonna make, switch my grip to two hook grips like this. From here, bang like this. So from here, I'm gonna grab two hook grips and then I'm gonna flare my elbow completely out. My right elbow is gonna open up and I'm gonna put my elbow on the floor. So I kind of make a straight line. That's why I do that grip. If you go like this, you can only get this far. When you do this, you can get completely straight. So I've killed the arm here with my body, with my hip. Now I open my elbow. Now this is the pressure here. This is the very important detail. You want to put the pressure on his face and on his neck so you control him. Your head goes on the floor, up here, like I'm already in the mount. I don't like to put it too close. I put it up here. So Dallas feels all my weight. Now I've opened up a lane where my knee can slide from here all the way into the mount, okay? So I'm gonna turn a little bit. So I have my hook grip, I flare, drop my head down and crush Dallas's face. The more uncomfortable he is, more likely I'm gonna get this mount position. So I put all my weight down, my head's in position, like I'm in the mount, and now I slide my knee onto his stomach and I go all the way across to the floor. Now you notice he can't push on my knee with his left hand, he tries to push, this is flared open. Even if his arm's around, when this is open, he tries to push, he can't. If this is a little bit shallow, he can block my knee. So you have to flare a lot and keep it there. Now, when my knee hits the floor, I don't want to mount slowly because watch what happens. It catches me in half guard as my foot passes, boom, he locks. And then I have to do more work. I don't want to work harder. I want to take this mount right away. So when I slide my knee, I want to go from the floor. Watch my knee. I'm not, the grip's going to be there, but watch. Watch my knee. I swivel and kick my foot out this way. The only way I can do that is watch from my hips. If I just stay here, it doesn't work. But when I swing my hips, the foot goes from the far thigh right to the floor quickly. And then I'm out. Okay, but I have all my grips and everything that I need to do. So here, I'm around the head. I've killed the arm. Pull in, switch my grip so I get that maximum stretch. Head on the floor for maximum pressure. Up this way, not sideways. Slide the knee on the stomach and go. Take your time. Crush. The more pressure, the better. Knee hits the floor. Watch the swivel. And then I slide my knee up and establish my high mount. Or at worst, gets his elbows in and I go for the low mount. But well, now we're on top and ready to go. So one more time. Control. Kill this arm. Grab here. Open the elbow. Head on the floor. Slide the knee all the way across. Swivel the hips. And mount. Watch your arms, don't get trapped and it rolls you right away. Pull them out. And that's how we establish the mount from cross face position.